Well, there are new developments in what has been dubbed the Acorn shooting in Okaloosa County. This video made national headlines when it was released about a month ago. In case you missed it, on November 12th, an Okaloosa County Sheriff's deputy Anna Ma had a man handcuffed and detained in the back of his patrol car. As the deputy walked over to the car, he heard what he thought was a gunshot and began to yell, shots fired, before shooting at the car. The popping noise he heard turned out to be an acorn. Well, the Fort Walm Beach man who was in the patrol vehicle as it was being shot at is now taking legal action. News Channel 7's Claire Jones was there for the announcement today. Do you have any weapons? He's saying he's got nothing. I do. Face down, face down. On November 12th, my life changed forever. I haven't been the same since. Five months after he was seated in the back of a sheriff's deputy vehicle and shot at, Marquise Jackson reflects on the events of November 12th, 2023. My life flashed in front of my eyes as I hear gunshots and feel bullets going across my face. I instantly ducked my head while a shattered glass fell on top of me. I began to pray, asking God to protect me as shots still coming from different directions. Tuesday on the steps of the Okaloosa County Courthouse in Fort Walton Beach, Jackson and his legal counsel announced that they are filing a claim for damages with a lawsuit soon to follow. The Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office released a statement hours before the press conference stating in part that they were concerned about false allegations. It is not acceptable that these officers, deputies, and their department is calling this a mistake. It is not okay to call it a mistake. There is no mistake. Jackson's attorneys say the initial shooting was only part of the trauma. The officers told Marquise that in order for them to give him relief, that is to get him out of the situation where he was being fired at while handcuffed in the back of his patrol car, that he had to sit up and allow them to shoot rifles around his silhouette to knock out the windows so they could see inside. In response to that statement, Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office released a new 41 minute long body cam video from the incident hours after the press conference Tuesday, showing what happened after the initial shooting. They also released a new statement stating in part that they did not use rifles at any point and only used long guns with bean bags to break the car's windows because the car was locked and that it was inaccessible otherwise. The statement ended with wishing Jackson the best and encouraging people to review the released investigation documents for the most accurate information on the matter. Jackson's attorneys say they want to ensure something like this never happens again. We want to work with law enforcement to help you get it right. Uh, and this is an opportunity for us to make sure that we get it right. And we don't have to have division here. We all saw what happened. And not only was it a mistake, it was an egregious mistake and there has to be some consequences from it. In Okaloosa County, Claire Jones, News Channel 7.